In southwest Virginia continue to clean up after high winds lead to battered homes and power outages. Storm Team 10 meteorologist Chris Michaels met with one Giles County family who's relying upon faith and community despite being left without a home for now. Wind gusts on Sunday ranged anywhere from 50 to 65 miles per hour in Giles County, which was enough to take a tree of this size and drop it onto this house. Now, luckily, while the littles were in the house at the time the tree came down, nobody was hurt. It was around midnight Sunday night when Matt Little woke up to a scream. Uh, I do remember uh, my wife Becky uh, screaming a uh, scream that I hope uh, never to hear again. The high wind and wet ground was enough to bring a large tree onto their deck and into their kitchen, narrowly missing Matt, his wife, their four children, and good girl, their cats. The little say for that they are thankful and thankful for their church, their community, and their friends who have stepped up in big ways. Uh, we got a place to stay. People from the church have been bringing us meals. Another friend that didn't let me borrow his car because our cars got smashed too. Come on in. <laughs> All right. When you walk into their home, among the damage lies a sign that encompasses the family's attitude toward the situation. It reads, there is always something to be thankful for. We really see it as, yeah, God's mercy, right? I mean, it could have fallen anywhere, and if it was going to happen, it happened at uh, just the best possible spot. While the Littles recognize that it is easy to get down over something like this, it's the bonds they've built over the last decade that have helped keep them calm. We have felt really blessed and really well taken care of. As far as what's next, the family is uncertain. They're waiting for a Blacksburg tree service to remove the debris so the home can be assessed. For now, they wait, but have a place to stay and a positive outlook for what's to come beyond the storm. In Newport, I'm meteorologist Chris Michaels, 10 News, working for you.